Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Lewis's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. He's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Right, let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Lewis is able to land a nice, clean left hand. What's the worst kind of situation you can get yourself into when you're fighting a guy who you know has superior hand speed? You start thinking too much, Joe. You start second-guessing yourself. You start being a little hesitant. Nice block by Lewis. Watch the hook! Watch the hook! Come on! Solid left hand to the head. Punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. It's something you got to start early and stay with. Halfway through round number one. About that left hand. Body shot lands, it was the right. He defensively sound. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Peck. Made a miss, made a pay. Ten seconds to go in this round. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that 
he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. If you don't take control, son. You got to take some control out there. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. A well-placed left hand up top. Good flush shot by Lewis. Keep going. Gets him with the right hand. Hey, what impact with that uppercut by Lewis. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Lewis's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Halfway through round number two. Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Oh, and there you go. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. Back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. A well-targeted jab that time. Nice work. The left hand to the head. That's a good block by Lewis. Solid hook. And he ties up on the inside. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Come on now, let me see it. See, he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing Good a punch later job. on. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew right. when you came you in. Doing? That wasn't going to be an easy Grace night. Come. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close, he can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock and survive. Good block by Lewis. A 
well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. rid of that body shot. Lewis is giving me a sense that he really doesn't want... Look at that! Wow, is this good stuff! What good stuff! He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier! Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Little head hunting with the left. One, two jabs up top. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Good flush shot upstairs. Final 10 seconds. Watch that. And round three comes to an end. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, all right? I need you to move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. Listen. Okay, now come on, come on now, you can do this. You can do this. Now I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? Now let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart now, champ, come on now, hands up. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out as we start round number four. Lewis is up two rounds to one, but keep in mind, they've already traded knockdowns. Yeah, and his opponent knows that. He knows he can hurt him, and there's always hope. There's always incentive to get after him. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. Brings the hook that time. Watch that! Oh, he's slowing down a bit now here. You know, he set such a high pace early on in this fight that you can see his punches are lacking that certain something now. What's interesting now, we see it, does his opponent see it, and does his opponent act on it? Halfway through round number four. Keep moving, you 
got to see that coming now. Come on. To the head he goes with a left hand. Left to the body. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Lewis. Really frustrating his opponent now. Lewis is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Looking uppercut that time. Don't let him get at you. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Do you want this fight? You want this fight? Listen to me. Do you want this fight? You got to stay go. busy out there. You are losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. Listen. Two jabs. Two jabs. And every time you throw that jab, I want to see you land that over here. Right? Don't go straight in. Give him a little faint first. You gotta watch the water in the Listen, corner. Too much. The best defense is to throw punches. Round number five has arrived. Good block by Lewis. Do that again. That looked good. Do that one more time. Lewis is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. <laughs> Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces oh, right there. Man, Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Locks away that headshot. Move. Locks it away. Ten clicks of the talk.
and this round comes to an end. And you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Don't waste your punches out there. Be smart or you're going to tie yourself out. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. right there. Solid. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. This fight is over. Lewis's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Boy, I tell you, I didn't see that coming, Teddy. But you know what? I'm glad it did. Look at the reaction he's getting here with that knockout. You didn't see it coming. More importantly, he didn't see it coming. That is why he's prone on the canvas. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.